have Leslie Grossman here. She's a leadership and career development expert and the author of uh, the business book, Sell Station. She's a serial entrepreneur and founder of an integrated marketing agency. Her clients have included brands like The Gap, Swatch Watch, uh, and Platinum Guild. She's the creator of Women's Leadership Exchange, a community of 65,000 women in business and 300 business associations that she built through her nationwide circle of influence, which is what she's going to talk about today. Um, Leslie has been helping professionals, executives, and business owners achieve success for 20 years. Her program, Connections for Life, encompasses her trademark create strategy, which she's going to talk about, and this integrates her philosophy of achieving success by creating lifelong connections, building one's personal brand, and developing one's
you won't be impacted by it because you will have your own entourage. And they will be there to help you. So let's ask that question. What would it be like if you had your own entourage? Well, here's an entourage. Am I blocking it? You familiar with this group? That's uh, the show, Entourage. Anybody watch that show? Yeah, okay. That's probably the most well-known entourage. Vince with Brahma, Turtle, Eric, and Ari. Well, the entourage we're talking about is a lot bigger than this entourage. But, you know, let's face it, if you follow that show at all, at all Vince, he's got all these people out there, right? They're, they're helping him in one way. He's helping them, mostly they're helping him. So it, of course, it's not true because it's a TV show, so they have to dramatize it. But the concept is there. The concept exists about having your own entourage. So what would that mean to your career if you had your own entourage? Here's some of the things. You will get great advice if you have an entourage. Whenever you need it, it'll be there for you. You will get great introductions. You'll be introduced to people that you will like, that could lead you to a job, that could help you hone your skills. You'll be building a network through your entourage, you will find a job that's consistent with your passion. Not just any job, but something that really lights you up, that makes you want to get up in the morning and head out to work. And most important, you are going to have a circle of influential people around you who are offering you support throughout your career. How's that sound? We turn that down, right? Okay. Now here's a guy who has an entourage. President Barack Obama. He, if you examine the people that are around him, and I'm not just talking about Valerie Jarrett and David Axelrod who are on either side of him right here. They and many others have been part of his entourage since he went to college. Some of them came on board in undergraduate. Some of them came on board in law school. Some of them he got to know when he was a community organizer. And as his career built, more and more people came on as part of his entourage. Now, remember, back then in college, they didn't know he was going to grow up to be president, did they? So they came on, though, because there was something about him and there was something that he shared that made them interested in him. And they supported him. But you know what? He also supported them. It was a two-way street. So it, with an entourage, it is a two-way street. Here's a few other entourages. Because sometimes when we look at leaders, we think they accomplished what they did all by themselves, but they didn't. Almost all of them have had entourages. Now, I don't know if you can see this too well. I'm kind of lit up here, but in the corner on the left, you've got Gloria Steinem. Anyone ever hear of her? Yes. Mm -hmm. The mother of the women's rights movement. Uh, she didn't do it by herself. Next to her are Betty Friedan, Bella Abzug, Congresswoman from New York. In the middle, Shirley Chisholm, first African-American Congresswoman. They were among the members of each other's entourage. That's how they succeeded. They did not do it alone. Next to them, you've got uh, business leaders. Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, they're buddies. Before that, Bill had plenty of other buddies that he started Microsoft with, before Microsoft was Microsoft. But these are 